Hello everybody, here we are today and we're going to be talking about hockey in the south and how the NHL has seen these franchises thrive over the past 10 years. But before we get started with it, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. The being said, let's get on into it. So I guess before we start, we should be talking about what I mean by the south. I kind of mean more of the south, east. I'm not counting like California and all that because again, that's more west. And in this case, we are talking about the Carolina Hurricanes, Dallas Stars, Florida Panthers, Nashville Predators, and the Tampa Bay Lightning. If I forgot somebody, I do apologize, but I believe it is just those five teams. Trust me, over the past 10 years, they have done a lot. Let's talk about these teams over the past 10 years. As in 2015, the Tampa Bay Lightning made it to the Stanley Cup Final. 2016, they made it to the Eastern Conference Final. In 2017, you had the Nashville Predators make it to the Stanley Cup Final. 2018, the Tampa Bay Lightning made it to the Eastern Conference Final. And then in 2019, the Carolina Hurricanes made it to the Eastern Conference Final. And I know for the final five years, I'm going to get this mixed up. But yes, we have in 2020, the Dallas Stars making it to the Stanley Cup Final. Guess what? So did the Tampa Bay Lightning as they ended up winning the championship that season. Then in 2021, Tampa Bay Lightning again made it to the Stanley Cup Final and won the championship yet again. 2022, Tampa Bay Lightning again made it to the Stanley Cup Final. Unfortunately, this time they lost. Then you have 2023 and 2024, which I'm going to have to look back in my notes because I know I'm going to forget the order here. Oh yes, in 2023, you saw the Dallas Stars make it to the Western Conference Final. The Carolina Hurricanes make it to the Eastern Conference Final. The Florida Panthers make it to the Eastern Conference Final, then go to the Stanley Cup Final. Whereas this season, you would see the Dallas Stars make it to the Western Conference Final. And then the Florida Panthers make it to the Eastern Conference Final, the Stanley Cup Final, and then win the Stanley Cup. And it's not just like this is one fluke run from each team. As over the past 10 seasons, 11 of the 40 division titles belong to these franchises. Every single one of these teams has won at least two with the Carolina Carolina Hurricanes and the Florida Panthers winning three respectively. And you can probably tell like we talked about earlier, deep runs in the playoffs are not uncommon as out of the 40 teams that have been in the conference finals over the past 10 years, 14 of them have come from this group. And then when you look at that, that's 35%. Seven out of the 20 teams in the Stanley Cup final have come from these groups in this region, if you will. And out of that group, three of them out of the past 10 have been from the South as you have the 2020 Tampa Bay Lightning. 2021 Tampa Bay Lightning and now the 2024 Florida Panthers as that is three championships in five years yeah things are going really well for hockey in the south not even to mention the fact that three president trophy winners have come from this region and it's not just like one team has been able to make a lot of this happen as obviously Tampa Bay and Florida has done a lot of the heavy lifting but every single team here has been able to go to the Stanley Cup final except for Carolina and every single team except for the Nashville Predators has been able to go to multiple trips to a conference final so looking at all this why am I talking about this why do I think it's important to talk about well I think it's more to do with the fact that we always hear about how hockey doesn't belong here, hockey doesn't belong there. More of the hockey snobs, if you will. And hockey in the desert, I think, is a big talking point right now with the Coyotes looking like they may never come back again. As Marello is now probably stepping down as the owner, things might not work out there. But as you can see, this region right here in that southeast part, a lot of people back in the day probably threw a fit. I know people still throw a fit now talking about how this team doesn't belong there. Maybe they're going to be a Toronto Maple Leafs fan base, but if you give them a reason to go to these games where they are competitive, you can see what this has been able to do. And these five teams, like I've talked about over the past 10 years, have given us the ability to see teams in this region be able to go on to at least a conference final, when in reality, it's pretty common to see these teams, especially in recent years, in the Stanley Cup final. My point with this is you are looking at a great run by this group, even though they're not even really a group and they think independently, but it's still a fun region and time to talk about. And it's not even like this was all just in. 2004, Tampa Bay Lightning. 2006, Carolina Hurricanes. There were points even before this where things were working out. But I did kind of want to highlight how hockey in the South over the past 10 years has been really good. Carolina nearly won their fourth straight division title. Tampa Bay has been a team that has made the Stanley Cup Final four times over the past 10 years. Florida has made it two times in a row. Nashville had their best run ever in franchise history and appeared in their first Stanley Cup final. And we got to see the birth, if you will, of Smashville. I know that there was talk about it before, about the energy and the passion. But that really was a great run to be on in the 2017 Stanley Cup final. And then the Dallas Stars, three trips to the Western Conference, multiple division titles, one of those coming this year. Being able to go to the Stanley Cup final and being a President's Trophy contender. And we've seen other teams go out there and win this. Just kind of want to throw that out there and highlight all the things that have happened over the past 10 years where maybe it would be cool to get a Montreal-Toronto Eastern Conference final. 
but I was always hoping for a Tampa Bay Carolina one. Probably won't happen in the future, but it is what it is. But anyway, what are your thoughts on hockey in the South over the past 10 years? And do you feel like this could kind of highlight why the Arizona Coyotes could actually work if they had the right ownership, if they had a winning team and all that? Because again, if you remember when I did a video a while back ago talking about Arizona, they had, I think, just one run ever where they made it out of the first round of the playoffs. Multiple seasons, a ton of seasons in reality where they didn't make the playoffs. Whereas these groups are seemingly thriving in part to their success. But anyway, again, your thoughts down below. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you will have hockey all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.